Welcome to your Start the Wave meditation. Start the Wave is a community that believes in the power of positive change, both in the transformation of self and in action to create a better world for all. In today's meditation, we are going to connect with our personal power personal identity and finding our authentic preferences in the lives we lead. I think it's fair to say that we all want to be living the lives that we were intended to live. A life that you feel connected to. One that you consciously choose and love. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again, we are all beautifully different. And though it's easy to be influenced in a world where we follow our idols, aspire and compare ourselves to others, your power comes from you. Your personal choice, the things you like, the colours that you're drawn to, the music you enjoy listening to, the way you like to express yourself and dress yourself, all these things come from you. We all have personal freedom. By connecting with today's chakra, you will start finding the willpower to proactively act upon your truth with confidence, responsibility, and most importantly, with authenticity. This energy center, the solar plexus or Manipura, loves forward momentum. But here's the interesting part. Only when it is in alignment with our own personal truth. So by connecting with and opening this chakra, we can gain a sense of personal empowerment in the things that we love and access the power of transformation. So wherever you find yourself now, just make sure that you're in a comfortable position. This will look different for everybody, but the key is to listen to your body and see what it needs from you today. Observe and just take a second to readjust any parts that might be feeling constricted or out of alignment and then just settle in. We'll start by taking a few deep breaths. And I encourage you to make the out breath audible. A few really nice, big, deep sighs. Just to release any tension, anything we might be holding on to. And then once you've done this, we're just going to breathe normally today. If that's deep for you, then let it be deep. If your natural breathing is shallower in nature, 
let it be shallow. There are no rules in how to breathe. So just let your breath come in and out of your body naturally as we start to observe and tune in to the breath. Just observing the inflow and outflow of your breath as it enters and leaves the body. Don't try and control it or manipulate it. Just let it do its thing and observe. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Observe any sensations that you might be feeling, perhaps at the opening of the nostrils, maybe underneath the nostrils where the air connects with the skin. Just keep observing. as you breathe in and out. Breathing in and breathing out. And now take your attention to the lungs. Observing how your chest rises and falls with each breath. to manipulate the way you breathe, just letting it come naturally in and out of the lungs, breathing naturally. Staying conscious with every breath. I want us to take our attention to the sounds that you might be hearing. listening to the background music that I have added into this meditation, aiding us to connect with our solar plexus chakra,
and then extend that attention to any other sounds that you might also be hearing. Anything else that is present in your space. Anything at all, just opening your awareness. Noticing the sound of my voice. You might even be able to hear your heart beating. Tummy rumbling. Any sounds at all. Making sure to stay with those sounds and not let it trigger any thoughts that then lead you somewhere else. If ever that happens, not to worry, just bring it back, focusing on the sound of my voice or on the music or any other sounds that are present Now we're going to take our attention to our eyes and firstly just notice any sensations around your eyes and just try and relax the muscles. And then focus on what you see. Is it just pure black? Is it another color? Perhaps the light is connecting with your eyelid. creating some sort of shapes or lights or maybe you see nothing at all there is no right or wrong way to do this, just observe Keeping your attention on whatever you see. Just observe. And any time your mind wanders, don't get angry at it, just bring it back. And Notice. And 
And now, let's bring our attention into our bodies. So just observe. As we go inwards. Becoming consciously aware of this home in which we reside and see if there are any areas of the body that are calling to you today. Really listen and see if there's anywhere that needs your attention. Whatever came to you first is usually the place that needs your focus, so trust that and bring your attention to that area of the body in which you feel some sort of sensations or feelings. Just focus your attention there. Continue with the breath. As you breathe into this part of the body. And then just ask it, is there anything I need to know? And listen, see if anything comes up. If it doesn't, not to worry. Maybe ask it one more time. Is there anything I need to know? Whatever comes up, accept it. And then let's bring it back to the breath. Focusing on the inflow and outflow of the breath. As it enters and leaves the body. And now I'm going to bring in our chakra bathing technique. Chakras, as a reminder, are energy centers that live inside our body, that receive and radiate energy. When they're blocked, we can find ourselves unbalanced and uninspired and have limited access to the energy that chakra emits. So today we are focusing on the solar plexus chakra, which is placed at the upper abdomen, just two inches above the navel. If you know where your diaphragm is, 
just bring your attention there, two inches above the navel. And let's just observe. If any thoughts come up, accept them. And then gently bring your attention back to your power center. The solar plexus chakra is associated with the color yellow. You can visualize this energy center as a ball of vibrant yellow light emanating from your center. The color of the sun or fire. That said, if you don't resonate with the color yellow for one reason or another, if it doesn't speak to you, sub in another color of your choice. This chakra is all about personal preference and personal identity. So it's just as important to connect with whatever color you choose. We're now going to plant a seed into that chakra to set intention and get it moving. So in your mind or out loud, repeat this affirmation. I accept myself completely and I'm receptive to divine energy. I accept my responsibilities and I'm guided. I accept myself completely and I'm receptive to divine energy. I accept my responsibilities and I'm guided. Continuing with the breath. Finding awareness. As you connect with your solar plexus chakra. Planting seeds of intention. I accept myself completely and I'm receptive to divine energy. I accept my responsibilities and I'm guided. I accept myself completely and I'm receptive to divine energy. I accept my responsibilities and I'm guided. Really listen to those words and let them affect you. Noticing how they make you feel I accept myself completely and I'm receptive to divine energy. I accept my responsibilities 
and am guided. Noticing what comes up. How it makes you feel. And bringing your attention back to the solar plexus chakra. Feeling its power in the center of your body. And now we're going to bring in the mantra, Ram. That's Ram with an R. As we continue focusing on our power center, Manipura, our solar plexus chakra, So repeat after me. Ram. Ram. doesn't have to be loud. If you feel uncomfortable using your voice, not to worry, just repeat it in your head as you listen to the music and to my voice. As you do this, really connect to your sense of personal identity, accessing your personal power, being authentic to yourself and who you are. Continue in this way, planting seeds of intention into your solar plexus. I accept myself completely and am receptive to divine energy. I accept my responsibilities and am guided. I accept myself completely. 
and am receptive to divine energy. I accept my responsibilities and am guided. Continue doing this in your own time. Either repeating the affirmation Continuing with the mantra Or just simply focusing on the solar plexus Breathing in and out of the energy center. I'm going to let you continue now for a few minutes of silence. And just let your solar plexus chakra guide you as to what you need in this moment. Breathing, deepening your awareness and listening.
I found this to be a good time to be looking at the way we navigate the relationships in our lives. Looking at the ones that are serving us. The ones where we feel free to show our vulnerabilities and authenticity in safe and nurturing environments. And then those in which perhaps we feel trapped, unable to show our truth. Relationships that block you from evolving, expressing and exploring your personal identity. When we live our lives from the truth of who we are, we naturally attract relationships and opportunities into our lives that are in alignment with our own personal authenticity. In turn, creating a reality where we thrive and feel a sense of belonging. As this week progresses, why not make it our goal in every interaction to simply be authentic? Not trying to people please or bend ourselves to avoid judgment, but connecting with who we are and our personal power and leading with courage. When we shape who we are to fit in and please others, we disconnect from our personal power. We hide our authenticity, which in turn blocks us from building confidence in who we are. So as I wrap up this meditation today, I just want to end with a gentle reminder. Be brave. Be bold. Be you. Namaste.